Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about complex mapping. So the definition is, a complex mapping means a mapping that does not have more than 100 or 50 transformation used in. Even 5 transformation used in mapping also called complex mapping. It depends on business logic. If the requirement has too much business restriction and constraint used to implement with Informatica then it is complex mapping. Another point, if the mapping looks complex to you, it may not be complex to others. If interviewer asks what complexity you were faced while developing mapping. So during the time of developing mapping, that was difficult for you, but it may not be complex for interviewer. So now I am going to give one example of complex mapping. Recently, I faced one complicated scenario to populate target file header with count of the rows which we are going to load into target table. Uh, so let's create one mapping. Give it a meaningful name m underscore complex underscore mapping. And now drag source table into mapping. So EMP is my source table. And now take expression transformation. And drag into mapping. Select all attributes of source qualifier. Or uh, sorry, or uh, select or uh, attribute or uh, DEPT number and drag into expression transformation and uh, go to port tab. So add here add to port and uh, change the precision 40 and 40 for both attributes. And add here give the port name. So first uh, for first I'm using for a variable port. So add here give the name dpt number underscore v. And second I'm using for output. So give add here dpt number underscore out. Uh, so change uh, first one is uh, variable port. And add here use uh, can cat function. Oh, sorry, to uh, use to cat function to cat and pass the port or DPT number. So add here DPT number or data type decimal. So I converted a DPT number into cat by using to cat function. And next for or DPT number underscore out. So that is output port. So add here use concat function. And write in single code whatever you are writing. So that will display as masses. So add here number of employee equal to or dpt number underscore b. And now for target table, so go to target designer and drag EMP into target. And now let's uh, convert into flat file. And add here, give the name flat file and change the uh, table name. So give it here uh, table name EMP underscore TZT1. So there is no any paste option. So drag EMP again into target designer. So add here do the same or change 
a table enter or flat file and change the table name emp underscore tgt2 apply and ok So at here I need only one uh, column of target table. So let's do the modification. First uh, delete the target table one and uh, go to edit the remove all uh, ports. And I need only one port. Give at your meaningful name. Header underscore call and increase the precision and now let's go to mapping and drag the target table and dpd number underscore or drag into target table and now save the mapping so mapping is valid and now next drag EMP into mapping and or drag target table into mapping so this is one to one mapping so drag all attributes into TGT2 and save the mapping again so mapping is valid now uh, let's uh, click on mappings or tab and here uh, go to target load plan so the by using target load plan so first i am going to load tzt1 and second tzt2 so if you like to know more about target load plan so in youtube right or target load plan in Informatico. So they are discussed more detail about target load group order or target load plan. So it's uh, by default it's selected. So first uh, that will uh, load the target or uh, target table TZT1 and second that will load TZT2. So no need to do any modification. So, leave. Uh, so click on OK. And now let's so uh, uh, create a workflow and session. So right click mapping designer and after generate workflow. So click next or uh, next button again. So workflow created. So add here a uh, workflow designer or uh, sorry workflow manager manager already open. So let's disconnect and connect again. And now click workflow. So our work workflow is wf underscore m underscore complex mapping. Now drag into map uh, workflow designer and go to session. And after click mapping tabs, so EMP. Our uh, table comes from escort underscore con schema. So I will uh, give the value escort underscore oracle and uh, second also for escort underscore oracle. Now for TZT1, so I will uh, click header option or use header command output and uh, header command so at your right echo so echo is the unix command to display 
whatever you write so the target table name is dzt1 or dzt so at here i am going to display or header or emp underscore dzt and output file i will load into c drive so i will give the directory c column slash and for output file name so i have to remove one and go to dct2 so i have to click click uh, in attribute to or uh, append if exit and header option uh, select use header command output and at here use echo command echo so emp underscore so at here uh, write in a small letter emp dot dct so at here give the output file directory or uh, c column slash and at here change the output file name or dct apply apply and ok and uh, save the workflow so at your workflow is valid now next to uh, right click and uh, start the workflow so workflow and session get succeeded so let's see the record uh, so in target table 14 records applied so let's see the records in file so at here i am getting wrong output emp underscore dct uh, that is header it's okay but numbers of employees 20 30 that's wrong so let's uh, fix the issue so at here in source qualifier i forget to write the query so at here write the query select Or uh, count star uh, from employee EMP. So validate the query. No error detected. Apply OK and save the mapping. And now refresh the uh, session and save the workflow. So workflow valid. Uh, so let's uh, delete uh, that file. And uh, start the workflow. You right click there and uh, click on uh, start task. Uh, so add here. EMP underscore TCT1 one uh, rows applied and one rows affected and for TCT2 14 rows applied and 14 rows affected so let's uh, see the records so at your EMP underscore TCT that is header number number of employees so total numbers of employees are 14 uh, so this is the complex scenario recently i faced to populate target file header with count of rows uh, which we are going to load into the target table so this uh, might be easy for you but uh, this is a complex scenario for me so I hope guys you understand the meaning of complex mapping. So thanks for watching. See you next week.